This is the homework for lesson 12. We're in module 5 of grade 3. Write your name here, please. Each shape represents the given unit fraction. Estimate to draw a possible hole. So here's a half. So if this trapezoid is half, the hole is going to have another trapezoid that's about the same. About like that. And I'm going to label. Here's a sixth. Now that means I'm going to need six of these to, to have a hole. That's one sixth. And maybe if I just do this, instead of drawing one box at a time, I might do better drawing lines like that. So that's about another six. And that's about another one. And there's another one. And I keep going until I have six sixths. One, two, three, four. And try and get them so that they're close to being about the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six sixths. All right, now this triangle is a third, so I'm going to need two. This makes, you know, what this makes me think of is the, um, the pattern blocks, this equilateral triangle. You know how those trapezoids, because we just drew trapezoids for the halves, you can make those with three triangles. That's what I'm going to try and do with this one. So I need a base that's about the same. And then another base that's about the same. And I'll label them one third, one third, one third. So there's a hole. And one fourth. Here's the, uh, well, let's see. What did four of these make? Well, they don't really have to make anything, but I'm thinking of parallelogram like this we can make sets of parallel lines that go like that now you could do this a lot of different ways you don't have to do it the same way i do it but that's so if this is a fourth i'm gonna need four of them i need four fourths to make a hole about like that and about like that the important thing is that they look close enough to the same that they could be equal parts. When we're drawing them in real life, it's difficult to get it to be, you just can't get it to be perfect, but get it as close as you can. Each shape represents the given unit fraction. Estimate to draw a possible hole, just like we've been doing, then label the unit fractions, just like we've been doing on the first page, and draw a number bond that matches the drawing. The first one is done for you. All right, so we're supposed to do one third and here's the shape that's a third and here's three of them together that makes a whole and then there's a number bond with made with thirds with one as a whole. So if that's a half, then we want, and that's a little bit more than half of a circle too, it looks like. So we want to have about like that, and then about like that, and then our number bond is going to have parts of half and half. Yeah, my hole is a little bit small, really. And we can try and do that better. All right, so we want... It might be a little bit big. I think it matters more that the halves are the same size than they match 
Okay, so if that's a fifth, I'm going to need five of them. So it's about that long, and it's skinny, and I need five of them. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So these are each one fifth. Going to write tiny. I actually made them a little too wide to match this guy here, but. That's five fifths. One, two, three, four, five. So we have a hole for a number bond, and it's going to be. We need five of these fifths. Remember, a number bond doesn't have to have just two parts, it can have any number of parts you need. Whatever it takes, as long as the parts add together to make a hole. And one, two, three, four, five fifths make, makes one hole. And now we have sevenths. These are going to be, that's a seventh, and that's another one. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sevenths. Give yourself some room here for this one because we need a lot of sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more. There. Evan and Yang use this shape representing the unit fraction one third to draw one whole. Shania thinks both of them did it correctly. Do you agree with her? And explain your answer. Well, let's see. Evan's shape has, it's got three thirds. And it looks like Yong used the same size thirds. Yeah, I think they're about the same. You can check it, like estimate it with your pencil or something. But the problem with Yong's shape is that He's got some overlaps here, so you, you you can't count the same space twice. So that's kind of the the problem with Young's shape is that he does have three thirds, but it but uh, because of the overlaps, it doesn't add up to the same whole. So let's see. Um, I disagree. Yong's shape has three thirds, but there are overlaps. So they don't make the same hole. 